What is the median number of employees assigned per project for the projects at Company Z? And for this problem, it's very important to realize that when we're dealing with a large population, the median of the population is equal to the 50th percentile. That is to say, it's a place on the list that is above 50% of the list and below 50% of the list. That's what it means to be the median. So statement number one tells us that 25% of the projects at Company Z have four or more employees. So let's just consider the number of employees on a project. And we don't know, of course, how far this goes up, but 25% of them, the upper 25%, have four or more. So it means this line right here is the 75th percentile. And so somewhere below it is the 50th percentile. Well, from this statement, we have no idea. Would it lie in three? Would it lie in two? Would it lie in one? We have no idea. All we know that it's less than four. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two tells us 35% of the projects at Company Z have two or fewer employees assigned to each of the projects. Notice, incidentally, the correct grammatical use of the word fewer, something to keep in mind on sentence correction. At any rate, two or fewer represent 35% of the projects. So it means that this line right here between two and three, that is the 35th percentile. Somewhere above that is the 50th percentile. Well, again, we don't know is that in three and four and five or in some higher number. We have no idea. So this statement by itself is also insufficient. But now combine the two statements, statement number one and statement number two. Well, now now the line between two and three, that's the 35th percentile. The line between three and four is the 75th percentile. The 50th percentile has to lie between them. So the 50th percentile has to lie within the groups that have three members. So that would mean that the median does in fact equal three. Three it occupies the position of the 50th percentile on the list. So combining these, we have sufficient information. If all this talk about percentiles and medians is confusing, I highly recommend checking out Magoosh.com. Magoosh.com has a few hundred math videos that will prepare you with everything you need to know for GMAT math. Also, a few hundred verbal videos to prepare you for the verbal side as well. Here we have statement number one, insufficient. Statement number two, insufficient. Combined statements are sufficient. Answer choice C.